Hello everyone. My name is Sam Dekuha and I'm a functional consultant in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. This video is end-to-end -end process of how landed cost model work and we will go through the logistic and financial functionality of the model. First of all, landed cost is about inbound process. It means purchase order and transfer arrival. With them it's easy to cal calculate charges and correct cost of the product. We will know how to create and track voyage, also predict the day of delivery, create shipping container and post invoice before receiving goods to the warehouse and what to do if part of the order is lost. Ok, let's jump to the dynamics. Previously I create a new purchase order and confirm them. To find a voyage on a purchase order we just need to push a purchase uh, at the action pane button and uh, under the landed cost uh, create new voyage. Ok, we could write down a description there. And vessel contains information about mode of delivery. Mode of delivery is uh, by, uh, by ocean. We must put in a journey template. It's from Shanghai to Odessa, Ukraine, and automatically it uh, put here information about shipping company. Yeah, okay. The system has moved us to the voyage editor where we could see our filtered order and two PO lines. Let's add them to the staging list. Here we could add our lines to the at least one shipping container. Here we have a predefined variant of shipping container. We could put it by ourselves with the number of them. Shipping container type which consists of them uh, restrictions about volume and weight. Of course it's automatically journey template, shipping date and that's all. We have their line with two each's, which we could add to the existing shipping container or create a new one. And one interesting thing that I want to show. Let's back to the old purchase order and look at the lines. We have before two PO lines and at this time we have four. Because of one of them is dropped to the two parts for uh, 98 pieces and for two pieces. And let's back to the staging list and add the existing line to the existing container. And now we have new voyage. Let's open them. Here we have information about voyage status, about uh, purchase order status open or invoiced, about uh, inbound and outbound ports, about shipping company and additional information. And uh, here at general action pane we could track our voyage status. Let's go there. Here you can see legs and what stage is voyage. Now we can add the planet ship at the date and system calculate automatically estimated end date. And this affects the purchase order. If we switch back to the purchase order and refresh page, we could look at the earliest confirmed date. It's gonna be a 1st June. And if we back in uh, voyage tracking and change actual and, and date, for example, one day later, and uh, here we have a notes. So the system recalculate that information and uh, estimated end date gonna change and if we look at the PO refresh page earliest confirmed date it's gonna be a second June. Yeah is that clear. A very common situation is when you need to post an invoice before you actually receive the goods. Since the ownership of the goods passes at the time of sale. That's why we just generate a new invoice. 
Uh, at the vendor invoice we need to put default from ordered quantity because we haven't received these goods yet. We need to put invoice number, description, invoice date and post. Uh, now we jump in warehouse management application. There I have uh, create goods in transit button, goods in transit receive. Post us to post the voyage number, just scan it. 21 uh, shipping container. After that scan item number, Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 for example. Yes, and after that we need to select quantity. It's gonna be 100. Yes. Next step, uh, let's scan a batch number. Yes, we receive this item. Let's scan another one. Uh, we choose not uh, 100, but in our case we find only 98 inches. So okay, and we need to scan a batch. Okay, we turn back from warehouse application to the dynamics, and by the way, I have done a purchase put away uh, work and after that we have such information at our voyage that some of the lines is with status invoiced some of the lines in status transit that's why because we just registered only 98 eight quantities of our item and not full quantity of 100 and I want to, em to emphasize that, first of all, we uh, post uh, our invoice and after that, uh, registrate and receive uh, all of the goods. And we just push at the receive in transit button. We have uh, the remaining quantity of uh, two inches. Okay, uh, we didn't find that, that's why we just write uh, zero and close this window and push OK. And if uh, I refreshed, we have seen that uh, status changed to invoiced. Actually, in landed cost, we have over and under, under transaction. It's in uh, inquiries over and under transaction. Here we have in process and we could see our voyage, uh, shipping container, and uh, that the original quantity is uh, 98 and the received quantity is 96 and difference is minus two. And uh, over under delivery is under de delivery. If we have over delivery, uh, for example, system automatically create a purchase order, order and uh, received this quantity and we just need to invoice it and in this case we could create for this um, difference or movement journal or, or purchase order uh, purchase order with negative quantity uh, or uh, we or we just create a movement journal and in case of purchase order, uh, vendor need to pay money back for these goods uh, which are lost. And in case of movement journal, uh, it's okay. And uh, we just uh, write off these goods and that's all. So let's create in this case movement journal. It's quantity two over under reason. It's different uh, journals which set up in this model. It's uh, under delivery. And okay, just post this. Okay, let's look at this journal. We need to choose status completed. Find this uh, voyage and journal and jump in into this 
Paper. Well, we could see that this is good in transit under delivery journal Xiaomi 12 Pro. It's minus two quantity at the warehouse under delivery. Okay, uh, and now let's talk in details about finance moment of this model. Uh, what I want to show in landed cost model uh, reports, we have outstanding invoice and we could choose as a day at date for today and cost not invoiced and choose different like shipping uh, different information that we wanna see in this report like shipping container purchase order item maybe it generate report and uh, we could see that our uh, voyage 25 have uh, cost type uh, duty for our shipping container and it's hard to sh see but we can download it and okay our uh, voyage 25 have a duty like 300 and uh, freight for this voyage is 2800 uh, 2, this is the estimated uh, price for for this duty and for this freight that's set up in this model so we are waiting for invoice from the shipping company and uh, in one moment we receive them and we need to pay for this so let's go into accounts payable model uh, invoices invoice journal and uh, create a new one uh, invoice it's for example this one let's jump into lines okay here we need to write down a vendor account it is our shipping company that that propose uh, us uh, their service invoice date so for example today invoice number description yes and uh, what about debit and credit uh, in our case the estimated price is uh, as we calculate uh, 300 and 2800 but uh, in this case, for example, uh, we have a document with 3,500. We write down it in credit. So, uh, and interesting thing that uh, we just we could select our voyage from this. Just put it, push uh, buttons functions and select voyage cost. And here we have a drop down list. Uh, find our Shanghai to Odessa voyage select OK here we could see our remaining amount in 3500 here we need to allocate this to our freight and to our duty of course we in real life we made it separately like one invoice for duty one, one invoice for freight but to simplify uh, this demo it's gonna be in one invoice so for example in freight we allocate three thousand dollars and in uh, duty we allocate 500 and confirm this uh, after that we need to post this invoice like that and invoice posted and now I propose to jump into a purchase order so let's open a transaction for example first PO line and look at the settlements uh, let's for a second I filter here we can see that we have that system proposed adjustment for 1400 for this line and uh, and the real adjustment for this line is 1500 for freight and let's look 
at the duty. The same situation, 150 dollars is uh, per this line and after we post uh, the invoice it's two, 250 for this duty and uh, let me show it in a more convenient way in reports again we turn back in landed cost it's report costing a voyage costing by individual cost you could uh, set up it of course but it's okay for us a system generate invoice uh, go down uh, one second for page width this is our voyage 25 and uh, we could see that for item uh, cn001 we have estimated cost this and actual cost a different one and uh, could read which cost type is influenced for that. And the same situation for a little bit lower for CN002. Yeah. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.